summer season has just left the island of Sodor, and the engines were glad to return to their normal duties. However, there were many more passengers than usual, and many controllers were scrambling for new and exciting vehicles to keep their networks afloat. One day, Duke and Smudger were idling at the station, awaiting orders from the Thing controller, Mr. Percival. Now, for those who don't know, Smudger is a show-off. If you were to ask why, allow me to give you the demonstration. Every chance he makes, he can prove to the other engines how useful he can be, which results in him being careless, riding roughly and often coming off the rails. His favorite engine to show off was Duke, who by many was regarded as the oldest and yet wisest of the narrow gauge engines. The two engines waited and waited until they heard an unfamiliar revving. It was a shiny old fashioned road vehicle who was donning a bright shade of yellow paint, a white rooftop, and was wearing a confidential smile. Out of all road vehicles such as Terence, Birdie, Bulgy, Butch, and so forth, the two engines had never seen such an oddball of a road vehicle like this one before. <laughs> What's this here? Another one of them sports vehicles carrying Hollywood autograph hounds? Give me a break. Actually, this here is our very first railway taxi, smiled Mr. Percival. In case another engine is busy or is waiting at another station, we can use this new taxi to deliver your passengers just like clockwork. He's got that right! Usefulness on the road is my kind of specialty! I'm Revkey! Well, it's nice to meet you, little guy. I'm Duke. And over here we have Smudger. He can be kind of a backstabber or better yet a show-off, if anything. I heard that, Dookie. All right, simmer down, you two. Let's get ready for your passenger trains today. There's so much to do and so little time. Uh, come on, Revkey. You bet, sir! Why, what a nice taxi. Isn't it exciting, Smudger? Now many more passengers can go from station to station in both train and taxi at the same time. Yeah, right. Taking passengers is our job. Well, we just gotta keep moving forward, that's all. If not, what might the railway come to? Uh-huh. Yeah. What if that taxi is the perfect example of our replacement permanently? What may happen to all of us then? Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to deliver my passengers today. Well, all right, but be careful, Smudger. You don't want to puff roughly and come off the rails, do you? Listen, Dookie, who worries about a few accidents? I certainly don't. Goodbye. <sighs> he never listens to me. So Smudger went to fetch his coaches. They didn't like the sight of him at all. <laughs> Not so hard, me lad. Oh. Smudger, what do you think you're doing? Be careful with those coaches, me lad. The workmen had those repainted last week. Yeah? Well, they'll be re-repainting them when I'm proven to be really useful. <laughs> Oy vey, some engines today. Later that day, he pulled up to the station where James was waiting for him. Why, hello there. What's your name? Uh, James. Uh, your name? Smudger. Say, do you like pulling passengers? Precisely. <laughs> I'd be sure to give Gordon a run for his money anyhow. At least it's much better than pulling dirty trucks from dirty sidings. Yeah, well, you better enjoy it while you still can, buddy. Unless you want to be replaced by an old-fashioned taxi. <laughs> James was speechless. <laughs> Smudger was chuffing carefully through the countryside. Suddenly, without warning, something unusual took Smudger's attention, and it was... 
Oh, well, there's RevKey. Well, there's no way he's going to replace all of us steam engines now. Perhaps a little rail slash road race wouldn't hurt anybody. I wouldn't increase the speed if I were you, Smudger, said his driver. Besides, you heard what Duke said, right? But Smudger wasn't listening. This was the chance that he had been waiting for. Oh, hi there, Smudger. How are you today? But Smudger just laughed. <laughs> then there was trouble. <laughs> Thankfully, no one was hurt, but Smudger was feeling rather silly. Later that day, Revki heard that Smudger was in trouble, so he kindly delivered his own passengers to help him back on the rails again, whilst another engine took his train to make up for lost time. Well, Smudger, I warned you to be careful, but you didn't take much notice, did you? Yeah, right, he snarled. Besides, I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for that meddling taxi who's planning to take our passengers and leaving us in the dust. Say what? What makes you think I want to replace steam engines on Sodor? Why, I wouldn't mind being really useful and keeping the railway network afloat. It's in my blood. All right, fellas. Easy? Easy? So, with the best strength possible, the workmen managed to lift Smudger back on the rails again. Well, it looks like my work here is done. Uh, goodbye, fellas. Instead of saying thank you, Smudger can only make an angry sneer at Revki. By the time he had crawled back to the sheds, the thin controller, Mr. Percival, wasn't very happy. You are a very naughty engine, Smudger he said. One of these days, we're going to have to send you over to the Sodor Steamworks to have your engine looked at, so this way you won't come off the rails too easily. I suppose that'll teach you to learn some rock and roll tricks from Duncan. The next morning, it wasn't made very clear if Smudger had learned his lesson, for some children walked up and was granted permission by their families to come and have a look at the engines. One called out, Hey look everybody, here's Smudger. He tried to race a taxi yesterday, but the taxi nearly beat him. And the children all laughed and smiled till they nearly had the case of the hiccups. Poor Smudger never believed in taxis now.